up late working six in the fucking morning, proving I want it more than other motherfuckers here. I really want to tattoo something like this. Like, damn near this exact same eye. Or I got one of a couple we can pick from. Who wants it? Who's ready? You know, if you're the person that wants it, I don't know, uh, I'm probably, I don't know, it depends on what size what I charge, but I definitely will hook you up and make it sick as fuck. Years later, uh, you did that, that, man. That's crazy. Or 2007, one of them. <laughs> one of them 2000s. I've been tossed aside My door was open, now I'm locked inside My ex is always covered up like they were Saudi You no makeup like you're grown up? Got a little curly Young Lucy, growing up on us I'm about to take my beautiful niece and some motherfucking ice cream Then I'm gonna go get my old crib cleaned out So I can finally get done with this fucking monstrosity One, two, okay Oh, oh, again Oh, he got me. He's, he's, I didn't know he was in the military. No more lockdown. Is that <laughs> oh, Lucy, that looks so good. Me and Maggie are going ham with ours, huh, Maggie? Can you say ham? Yeah, it's for a good cause. It's for the children's something or other. Did you drop it? Put it in there. Oh, oh no! Look, I even got more change, guys. <gasps> oh no! Grab it, grab it, Lucy. Drop the penny behind you. Here, look, I'm gonna do a quarter. Oh, look at the quarter go! Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, that was a laugh of a mad woman. My turn. Oh, there's no more. Those were our last ones. I gave you... Let me in! No! You're really trying to take off in my car? I gotta go! <laughs> I got stuff to do! You are crazy. My hand's in the door. You try to close my hand in the door. We gotta go. Whoa! No, no! My hand! <laughs> Yo, some people's job in life is to make your life more stressful. When you realize who those people are, it's your job to get them the fuck out. Misery loves company. The concept of misery loves company is the same concept as you are the five that keep you alive. If you're hanging out with people that make you feel better about your situation, you gotta make sure your situation's right. You feel me? Like the reason crackheads hang out with other crackheads is because they don't feel like crackheads when they're surrounded by more of the same. Same thing with alcoholics, same thing with dopeheads, you heard? Bruh, if you're trying to be a motherfucking entrepreneur and you're hanging out with crackheads, chances are all your ideas are going to get bounced back off a wall of fucking negativity. You hear me? But on that same note, they say steel sharpens steel and iron sharpens iron. So if you're hanging out with other motherfucking intelligent people, then your ideas are going to go twice as far. Understanding this shit is kind of a gift and a curse because if you find out like your parents are the negative energy in your life, how are you going to get rid of them? Or if you find out your wife is or your husband is, how are you going to get rid of them? Or really the first trick in any problem situation is acknowledging what the fucking problem is. The second step is making improvements based on it. Or really accepting the worst case scenario and making improvements based on it. A lot of the knowledge that I talk about can be found in How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie. It's like $4 at the half price bookstore. That book has so much fucking knowledge. I don't like when people have good ideas that they've read in books and they don't want to share the book with you. Or good ideas that they heard from an entrepreneur or a, or a positive speaker and they don't want to tell you where they found it. I don't need to be the person that came up with this knowledge to share it with you. If anything, I don't need to I don't need to get pat on the back for the thoughts. I need to get congratulated for sharing the thoughts with my people, you hear me? 
getting pat on the back or congratulations. The real pat on the back is having more positive people around you that you help cultivate because you only accept the best out of everybody around you. If you have your goal clearly in your mindset and then anything that pops up makes you wonder, is this bringing me closer to my goal or farther away? If it's bringing you farther away, get the fuck away from it. Anybody at this point that still doesn't know their fucking goals, how, it's like how can you expect somebody else to love you if you don't love yourself? How can you expect the universe to give you your goals if you haven't even named them yet? Today, name your motherfucking goal. My goal is da da da. Tell some important people around you that are positive. Don't tell none of the negative people. If you don't really know who the people around you are negative, or if, if the people around you are negative or positive, try telling them your goal and hear if they say the first thing. You're not gonna be able to do that, or you can't pull that shit off. Be honest with yourself. It's not hard to figure out who the negative people are and who the positive people are. The hard part is acknowledging why you have so many negative people around you. Why you're a magnet for negative energy. At this point in my life, I'm a magnet for positive people and positive energy, but for some reason there'll still be some scraggling ass negative people trying to pull me down because they see how much positive I'm doing. It's like a game just trying to get the negative energy from around you. You know what I'm saying? Get on away from around here, bitch. Ain't famous on me, but a yet a nib. Did you guys know that changing something as trivial as just your posture, like how you present yourself, how you stand, how you smile, changes everything internally to yourself? Therefore, change your posture, change yourself. And if you're feeling bummed out, trick yourself. Smile, walk into the room fucking confident and proud, and fucking demand the life that you want. The answer to changing your life isn't going to be one fucking thing. It's going to be a fucking bunch of little things that change your entire reality like this. For instance, this here ramen noodles changed my motherfucking day. I was hungry. Now I'm not, bitch. You know what I'm talking about? I try to keep it kind of light, you know, I, I'm not trying to be all preachy and shit, all, just because I'm filled with motivation and I want to share it with y'all, doesn't mean it's got to be all uncomfortable, so I'll be like, you know what I am, bitch. Hello darkness, my old friend, I've come to sit with you again. So if you weren't motivated when you heard my first post, hopefully you're motivated now. Get the fuck up and accomplish some motherfucking shit today. If we don't live in the present moment, we can't change. So don't live in the future, don't live in the past, live in the motherfucking present. And doing the right thing is never wrong, man. You can do the right thing for the wrong reason, but it's still the right thing. You do the right thing for the right reason, it's still the right thing. Just be a good fucking person, you fucking son of a Like, did you wake up and say what you was grateful for today? Did you wake up and write down the things that you were happy that you already had before you asked for more shit? Before you pray for more stuff, be thankful for what you Imagine if there really is God really listening to all of our fucking prayers and all it is is, can I have this? I want this. I deserve this. I need this. What about thank you for the shit I got? Imagine how much more happy and positive the universe would be if people were walking around being grateful for shit that they already had. Like their health, like their looks, like their clothes, like their family. I feel like we got this false misconception of what the universe is. The universe ain't some big crazy thing. It's a bunch of us. It's a bunch of people. It's a bunch of animals. It's a bunch of thoughts. So walking around thinking that nobody understands us and nobody's got the same problems as us and our life is so horrible. You know how many other people think that same way? Now surround yourself with people that think how happy they are. You know that thoughts can be measured in energy, like the energy of thoughts can be measured and just thinking yourself in a positive place can actually be like quantified, like scientific. I say that to say this, they hooked two brothers up to a fucking test and one was thinking about being on the ocean and loving it and the other one was sitting on the ocean and loving it and they read the exact same thing in the... The test showed that the positive energy that they were both like fucking soaking up and giving out and all that kind of shit was essentially reading the same way on both of their charts. The one that was thinking about it versus the one that was living. What does that mean, Shadow? Well, class, what the fuck it means is if you lay in bed thinking about being on the ocean, your body thinks you're on the ocean and you start getting all this positive feeling and this positive energy. Or instead of sitting there wishing somebody would touch your motherfucking balls or, or squeeze a titty or some shit, um, think about the last time you had that fucking experience. You'll get more happiness out universe is just going to give you more of what you're thinking about. So if you're thinking, nah, nobody wants me and I have no money, bitch, ain't nobody going to want you and you ain't going to have no more. But if you walk around projecting this positive energy like, oh my God, I love the fact the last time this happened for me or God, I'm so blessed or thank God I got enough money for the bills I, you know, then you're going to get more of what you're projecting because people are going to gravitate towards it. If you're in a shitty mood, but you walk in a room and pretend to be happy, people are going to be like, oh, what's up? What's so happy about? And they're going to be happy. Eventually, you gotta realize you want to cultivate, or you need to cultivate the feeling that you want to have in your in your in your gut, in your chest, in your life. You want happiness? Cultivate that. Shit. Positive energy isn't something that just happens to you. It's something you have to perpetuate. You gotta be thinking about it. You gotta talk it into existence. You gotta surround yourself by other positive people. That's how you get positive. Two, get it. Look at this little crazy bat wing having ass dude. That's crazy. Make you swim faster. <laughs>